The Riparian Preserve is a park that's maintained by the Gilbert Parks and Recreation Department. So it has the typical things you would find in a park, green space, picnic ramadas, uh, barbecue. There are lots of fun things to do. But in addition, there are hiking trails. You can also, you're able to ride your horses in the trails. You're able to bike. Uh, there's a fishing lake. So it's a wonderful, fun place to go as a family outing or a place to get away in the middle of town to have a chance to experience nature firsthand. This is a, an Audubon site, so there is a wide variety of birds that are available, especially during the spring and the fall migration periods because of the water and the uh, nesting resources. This makes a great place for birds to rest while they're flying north or south. And so you can see during the t course of the year, hundreds of different types of birds as well as local uh, wildlife. Another beautiful part of the park is a butterfly garden. They're native plants that have been specially planted to attract butterflies. And so as you walk along, you'll see lots of butterflies as well as bullfrogs. So if you come to the park at night, you get a great serenade from all the bull bullfrogs. While it's really hot in the summer in Phoenix, in Gilbert it's a wonderful place to go is the Gilbert Riparian Preserve early in the morning or late in the afternoon. The temperatures aren't quite as bad and if you stay until the evening on Friday or Saturday night, you can look through the telescope of the Gilbert Riparian Preserve. The telescope is a 16 inch Mead telescope and the 16 inch lets you see a good number of things. We can see the moon, planets, uh, globular clusters, open clusters, stars, double stars. You can see some galaxies, although they're certainly fainter because that would be washed out by the light pollution. But there are a lot of different things that you can see. Probably the most interesting thing that we've seen here at the observatory uh, was a few years ago the transit of Venus. It doesn't happen very often, but it's where Venus goes across the face of the Sun. And since Venus is about the same size as the Earth, you can imagine that this is what we would look like to people looking far, far away, kind of as we're hunting for exoplanets. If they're looking at something, is there a planet around this particular star, that's what we would look like when we were transiting the Sun. The telescope itself is open each weekend on Friday and Saturday night from dark until about 9.30, weather permitting. And then we have a special program the third Monday of each month in July and August for kids. We specialize on looking at planets. We're going to be talking about the electromagnetic spectrum and light. And we'll be looking at Saturn and we'll be looking at uh, uh, various other things during the observing that follows. That takes place at 7 p.m. the third Monday of each month at, with the observing following. The park itself is free and the telescope, the observatory, is also free and open to the public. We do accept donations to help us preserve the uh, equipment and to buy new things to help enrich the experience, but it is free and we would encourage people to come and join us.